Hey everybody, um, name of this video is going to be uh, five obnoxious weeds found in uh, in North Carolina, which will probably probably be most of uh, the southeastern United States. Um, right here, I got one that's called a uh, horse nettle, and uh, as you can see, it's actually growing inside of. Uh, a wax myrtle hedge I have here and for me to get rid of this I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get some leather gloves and pull it out I'm gonna have to get down inside of here and pull it out um, or I would say this is about horse nettle it, people hate it it is uh, definitely a, a, a nasty weed but it does it is a great pollinator you can see here it's got these little white flowers on they're closed up right now um, it's in the nightshade family, but uh, it is excellent. The bees love the bees love um, horse nettle, and as you can see down here, it's actually got these little. These are berries that, that uh, grow on it, and that's how it spread. And I need to pull it out, but it's got these really nasty thorns on it, so I have to get my leather gloves where I can pull it out. All right, continuing our uh, video on the top five noxious weeds found in my yard. Um, this is called dog fennel, and this thing this this grows everywhere. It's got a very uh, peculiar smell to it, and there's a folk remedy people say that it it can actually be used as insect repellent. So I guess it does have some type of uses to it, but it's a really really tough weed to pull up. You get down here and you start pulling on it and it will come up but uh, it's not easy to pull up it, it, it's actually really tough and it's not an annual it's a perennial it comes back every year and it grows in this clump and it will actually uh, out compete if it's growing near a, a desired plant that you have it can actually out compete that plant so uh, you want to make sure you catch this weed early Pull it up early, don't do like I did and let it get established in this one particular spot. Um, but I am, it, it will, um, a tree will overtake it in time. So this is called dog fennel. Good. Right, continuing the top five weeds found in my yard. This is the uh, pokeberry. Uh, uh, some folks call it, uh, poke cherry, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's, it's a pokeberry uh, weed or plant. Um, it is, uh, it does have these berries on here. You see that are growing in, They're, they'll turn black. The leaves on this are edible. Um, it's an old mountain recipe uh, found in Appalachians where they actually boil these leaves down and they had kind of eat it something like you would eat collards. Um, but it, it does have some toxicity to it, so you need to be very careful if that's something you try to do. Um, I've never ate it, so I can't vouch for it. But uh, it is a good pollinator. Um, these, it does have these little flowers on here. Um, they're, not, they're not conspicuous. There's not anything pretty about them. But they, are, they do draw a lot of insects in, and the berries are uh, sought after from birds. When, they, when the berries turn black, it's an indication that they're ripe, and it's towards the end of the growing season, towards the end of the uh, summer, and the birds will be very much attracted to it. And pokeberry, it actually does have pretty fall colors, so um, it, it is it is a kind of an aggravating weed. It gets big, can get very big, uh, but it you know it does have some merit. So um, not everybody hates it. I, I kind of like it, but it it, it does kind of get growing some spots that um, get in my way in the yard and that's called the pokeberry all right continuing our talk today uh, about the five most obnoxious weeds found in my yard and probably many of your yards across the, the southeast united states um, this is ragweed most people have heard of it they may not exactly know what it looks like but it is a, a terrible weed to have um, it's very common it's, it grows in wasted spaces. It grows on the side of the road. It grows all over the place. 
Um, it puts off a terrible pollen uh, that causes people to have severe allergy issues. Um, and so I've, I, most people have probably heard of it. It does provide some food sources to birds, particularly bob white quail, uh, but it is not a desirable plant to have hanging around your yard, especially with those people who suffer from allergies which seem to be more and more common nowadays. This is called ragweed, common ragweed. All right, consider uh, continuing our talk about the five most obnoxious weeds found in my yard and probably your yard too if you live in the southeast. Um, this is the alligator uh, grass or alligator weed. As you can see, it's growing right here. It'll grow, it, it'll grow low to the ground and run on top of the ground. It is very, very obnoxious. Uh, it's hard to pull this, it's kind of hard to pull this weed up because it breaks in the ground once you start pulling it and then it just pops back up. Um, the good thing about it is it is an annual um, and it, it, it will die off. It's a seasonal grass, it will die off and then um, maybe you can get it control before next, get it under control before next year starts. But as you can see, it's very, it grows rapidly it's fast spreading. Um, you do not want this weed in your yard. Um, I, one, I will say, one, and all these weeds I talked about today, there's something positive about all of them. So uh, one of the positive things about these is these little, these little white flowers that you can't really see that good on this one because this one's just a, a small baby. But um, um, chickens will eat these little flowers and actually love them my chickens eat them um, as fast as they can find them. So um, I'm sure they're not the only birds that will eat that type of uh, flower. But that uh, that's it for today. Thank you for uh, watching the video, learning about the five noxious weeds. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page and share it to others. Um, we got lots of other videos planned to do, uh, but for right now, we'll see you later. Thanks.